should be live. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if we're on. Are we on? We're on. You got commercials. Yeah. It's hey, Randy. Hey, Dennis and Teresa. Welcome. Can you hear us okay? Virginia. Hey, how, Virginia. How are you doing, Virginia? We've been praying for you. Yes. So sorry to to get the news the other day. Yeah. Hello, David Perkins. Oh, William Smith. Hello, Jeff and Tootsie. Hey. Hey, Diamondback King. Welcome. No, you're not the first on, but you're one of the first. That's good. Keeping busy yeah, always that's is good. Yeah, I think that's key to a lot of it. Um, yeah. But it's good to see you, Virginia. Yes. Hey, Pam. Welcome. Just saying hey to Jeff. Virginia saying hi to David C. Perkins. I got King saying hi. Hey. David saying hello, Jeff. How are you doing today? I know he's keeping warm. Last I heard, <laughs> he's he's sitting by a fire. Jeff says, hello, everyone in chat. I'm on phone sitting by fire with friends here at the campground. Yeah, yep. Staying warm, huh? Can't be that cold. It's always nice to, yeah. I don't think it's too chilly, <sighs> but I mean, if you still have a breeze like we've been having. It's 62 there. Yeah. The 62 sitting outside with the sun going down. Yeah. Diamondback uh, King says, we've been praying for you. Um, for Virginia. She's saying hi to Dennis and Teresa Jackson. And saying Virginia said hi to Jeff and Tootsie. What's everybody been up to this week? Otherwise, William says, uh, cool enough for fire. True. It's, it's always nice to sit around a fire pit, uh, fire uh, pit, <laughs> fire pit, fireplace, fire pit, whichever. <laughs> Especially outside, you know, and then you yeah. just—it's mesmerizing just watching the fire. As long as you don't have the wind. Like, yeah, like right. Jeff had yeah, the other day. Yeah, you don't day. need. Yeah, you don't need the wind. Burn That's... some mallows. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, really. Virginia says thanks, Diamondback King. She was like a sister I never had. Oh. Uh. Well, I don't know how many of you have watched Bewitched or or it's probably been a while like it has been for me. <laughs> so, um, well, somebody, some of these details. Somebody did select it, so. Yeah, I don't remember who did, but because we didn't go back and look again. But uh, anyway, David says I would uh, I work was, on was Green working. River. Oh, was working. Green River Bank today, and I almost fell in the river. Oh. oh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Glad you didn't. Yeah. Hey, Man. Jimmy. Welcome. Hey, Gary with two R's. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fall in the river. Man. Virginia says, Connie asked Jeff to send pics of what I baked today. Uh-oh. Oh. All right, Jeff's. You need to send us Jeff. pictures of uh, what she baked today. Jimmy saying hello to Gary. Yeah. Jimmy saying hello to David C. Perkins. Does, uh, is Jeff got his uh, volume on or is he just... I know you said he's sitting with friends. Maybe you might have to text him. 
He may be trying to send the pics. Maybe. Yeah. Virginia says, I will send recipes as promised later. Oh, no rush on that. Yeah, no rush. We, we appreciate understand. it. But yeah, there's no rush on that whenever you feel like you want to. That That is totally okay. And uh, But we appreciate that, too. So um, exciting to, to get new recipes, especially yep. from you, Virginia. Jeff says, okay, I will text it to y'all. All right, he's... Okay, so I don't yeah. have to... <laughs> he heard us. <laughs> Good. I wasn't sure if he was um, just watching the chat watching or and... if he was listening. Yeah. So, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, you're watching for it. Yeah. Watching and drooling. Watching and drooling. <laughs> <laughs> uh... yeah. Get this yeah, going. I think we'll probably get it started and get it going. Yep. So let me slide this. Virginia oh. says he's busy right now. Yeah. Yep, he's busy. So here we go. Bewitched. First question. Jeff says I'm listening. I got my radars on. Okay, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't sure. First question. What was Samantha's mother's name? A. Gertrude, B. Hagatha, C. Endora, or D. Wisteria. Those are all interesting names. Yeah, but two of them are actually from the show. <laughs> but what's the correct one? I think everybody knows this one if they know the show at all. William says, wife been making homemade bread. Ooh, oh, boy. nice. Does she do it the traditional way, or does she use one of those? I used to have a bread maker yeah. um, where you put all the stuff in the machine, bread machine. Okay, I'm drooling now. Oh, wow. Virginia, that looks yummy. We see the picture now. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Virginia says, I made two loaves today. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Traditional, but William Smith said. Oh, okay. Very nice. Cool. That's so, the best way. Yeah. The very best way, yeah. William says, no machine, everything handmade. Wow. Very nice. Nice. That's the best way to do it. Well, the answer to this one is? C, Endora. Obvious, simple one. I have some simple ones in here if you know the show at all. Yeah. Otherwise, it's mostly simple. Virginia says, no machine either. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Not surprised with her because all of the stuff I have seen. In there. Okay, next question. What business was Darren in? A, insurance. B, advertising. C, banking. Or D, architecture. It's a little bit more of a thought process. Yeah, yeah, because if you don't remember the show, then. Two loaves. Oh, wow. Very oh, nice. Pie. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, that pie looks so good. Well, the yeah. bread looks really good, too. I love yeah. homemade bread. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, now I'm really drooling. Thanks, Jeff, for sending those pics. Yeah. Picks. William says slogans. Virginia says you can show them. So there's the first one. Can you see that? Probably okay? you don't don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. There's the second one. Jimmy says, my grandmother taught my daughter how to bake, how to make bread in the old wood cook stove. It's up in the garage, not hooked up. Oh. David says, I would like to see them pictures. I'm hungry. <laughs> Did everybody see those okay? I don't know if they Jeff were able to see them. very welcome. I, I'll re-show them after the uh, questions are done before we do the wheel. Yeah, don't forget. I won't. Okay, so the answer. So the answer to this one is. B, advertising. And like William Smith said, slogans. Yeah. Jeff says, thank Miss Virginia especially. Yes, definitely. Yes, thanks Virginia for 
sending those pictures along. I'm going to be staring at this one Jeff. slice of cake pie, whatever. Yeah. For a while. <laughs> oh, man. That looks so good. It does. William says peanut butter and apple cider jelly on homemade bread is good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Also, apple mint jelly would Nothing be Nothing beats homemade bread. No. I tell you. Next question. Which of Samantha's aunts bungled most of her spells? A, Aunt Ruth, B, Aunt Hagatha, C, Aunt Clara, or D, Aunt Gladys? Mm-hmm. Apple mint. Oh, apple mint, yeah. He's like, apple mint? Question mark? Question mark. Yeah. Apple mint is very good. We got some of that in uh, Gatlinburg got, at yeah, that jelly got, store. The jelly store has it. If you ever want to get some good jellies, uh, if you're ever in Gatlinburg, look for that jelly store. Yeah, right? what you do is you, as you're leaving downtown Gatlinburg, you go off to the right up 321 and look for the uh, uh, Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum. It's in that same, same area where that is. Virginia says um, it's a Pennsylvania Dutch surprise oh. cake pie. Oh, wow. Found it on YouTube today. Oh, interesting. Pennsylvania. Wow, it turned out really good Dutch. looking, too. Oof. Now you got me real curious now. <laughs> hey, Jeremy and Cheryl Cruise Adventures. Welcome. Hey. You're new to us. I'm wondering if they were at the split meetup. William says, thanks, I'll try it. Yeah, it's it's definitely good. I was I liked it when uh, my mother had it when I was a kid and like when I found it at that store, I was like, Okay, I gotta get it. Yep. And every time whenever we do make it up there, I have to grab it. <laughs> Virginia says, very easy to make. Oh, well that's good to know. So the answer to this one is C, Aunt Clara. Next question. Who played the aunt who bungled her spells a lot? A. Marion Lorne. B. Alice Ghostly. C. Ruth Gordon. Or D. Vivian Vance. Yeah, I wouldn't have even known this one. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a true diehard to know the Google. Williams uh, says ninety percent sure. Virginia says not D. No, not D. Obviously, <laughs> when you're trying to think of answer or stuff to put in, sometimes you have to think. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's the process of elimination, right? Yeah. He's 90% sure. I see some A's. A lot of A's. For Alexa. Well, Alexa is going to say A because Alexa uh -huh. starts with an A. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe A. So the answer to this is... It's A, Mary and Lorne. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa, for giving away the answer. Well, <laughs> when you don't know, then you then you ask for a backup, right? Yeah. William <laughs> William's 100% wrong. wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next question. Who was Serena? A. Samantha's sister. B. Samantha's cousin. C. Samantha's daughter. Or D. Samantha's friend. That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> William Smith. B. 100%. B. 100%. Uh, 
Virginia says, stop turning my Alexa on. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, good grief. Gary no, 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 Alexa. no. <laughs> Gary. Oh, no. Alexa, turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa says oh, we watch Bewitched every day. Oh, that's who. Oh, okay. That's who Jeff was referring to. Well, then you know these answers. So the answer to this one is. B, Samantha's cousin. Oh, it almost didn't fit the width. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, next question. What was the name of Samantha's nosy neighbor? A, Mrs. Cook. B, Mrs. Klutz. C, Mrs. Kravitz. Or D, Mrs. Cribbage. I do remember that one. Yeah. yeah. Every time she'd tell her husband... I'm Which, not gonna say the name. Good, because you can't. You better not. Because she she would say something, you know. Oh, look at this, something happening over there. And then by the time you get to the window, it would, there wouldn't be anything wrong. Yep. Oh <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, Dennis and Teresa better have the same answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the. William says, I was telling them about your homemade bread, Lorna. Oh. Oh, yeah, Lorna Smith yeah, snuck she's, in. Yeah, she's playing. Yeah, yep, I didn't see her till now. Okay, so the answer to this one is... C, Mrs. Kravitz. Yep. Next question. Who played Uncle Arthur? A, Paul Lind. B, Robert Reed, C, William Frawley, or D, Sebastian Cabot. Yeah, between Lorna's uh, and Virginia's breads and baked goods, we're going to make everybody hungry here. Yeah. Talking about homemade bread and everything. Oh, I know. (laughs) And that, that dessert. Oh William says, Lorna, no Googling. <laughs> <laughs> or the other word. <laughs> Wasn't there a song about Uncle Arthur? <laughs> it's a different Uncle That's Arthur. That's a different, completely <laughs> different Uncle Arthur. <laughs> totally wrong. So the correct answer on this Uncle Arthur is... A, Paul Lind. Next question. Who was Samantha's phys- yeah. physician? I can't talk. A, Dr. Bombay. B, Dr. Spock. C, Dr. Wizard. Or D, Dr. Hathaway. Now I'm going to have to Google that. Google what? The physician? No, the other thing. Oh. Uncle Arthur and the music. The oh, music. yeah. So far, everyone's got A's. William says Lynn did a lot of match game, too. Yeah, he did. That's who sung Uncle Arthur. David Bowie? David Bowie. It was a David Bowie song. Oh, I knew it was out there somewhere. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I don't dare play that. Virginia says, Dr. Bombay, come right away. Yes. That's <laughs> obviously the correct answer is. A, Dr. Bombay. Come right away. Come right away. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> William yeah. says, or Hollywood Squares. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, Hollywood Squares he was in. 
And he was actually in match game as well a couple times. Next, next question. What was the name of the firm Darren worked for? A. Mackenzie and Brackman. B. Tate and Fish. C. Smith and Wesson. Or D. McMahon and Tate. Yes, I had to throw something weird in. I couldn't resist. I'm oh. surprised you didn't come up with something like Reed and Smead or something <laughs> like that. I was almost tempted to do, uh, uh, what was it, Ireland and An Anderson. Ireland and Anderson. <laughs> I would have got belt loop in here in a heartbeat. <laughs> what did William Smith say? It's D, Lorna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's telling Lorna yeah. the correct answer. Uh Either William is not at home. <laughs> Lorna says, can't even think with these girls. <laughs> <laughs> Gary says, I'm pulling a, a Miss T. I'm changing to D. Ah. Yeah, because Gary had it wrong. He had the bait and fish. You know I had to do Diamondback fish. King says D. You know I had to do fish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm surprised. If Jeff would be... William says, I'm what? in Rayville, Louisiana tonight. Oh, okay, see, okay. he's not home. Yeah, that's he's what, not that's... home. So, so the answer to this one is... D, McMahon and Tate. Yeah, it was in the very first episode, in fact. Next question. How many episodes were there in all? A, 254... B, 270, C, 260, or D, 310? <laughs> That's a, a, a thinker. That's when they had a lot of episodes for TV shows nowadays. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, without looking it up, Googling or whatever that other thing is that I'm not going to say. Al. <laughs> Al? Al, just call it Al. Al? <laughs> William says C, and that's a guess. Yeah, I would have to uh, look it up. Mm-hmm. Well, I did have to look it up. IMDB can be your friend in, the, in these cases. <laughs> <laughs> Gary says I cheated, so I won't say. Virginia says she guessed. Could be A. Since it doesn't end with zero. Is that correct? William says A <laughs> or C. <laughs> Dennis says, Teresa guessed and I copied. What did Teresa guess? Uh, A. Well, so the correct answer is a, 254. Teresa guessed right. <laughs> hey, hey, Blaine! Hey, Blaine! I saw you were super rumbling earlier today. Next question. Speaking of which. True or false? One actress, Alice Pierce, played nosy neighbor Gladys Kravitz throughout the run of this show. A, true, or B, false. Everybody's saying hi to Blaine. Mm -hmm. Blaine says, I'm always rumbling, especially <laughs> after Taco Bell. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to have to send you a picture I saw on Facebook, Blaine, after you, uh -oh. says that, after you said that. It's like, oh my gosh. We haven't eaten at a Taco Bell in years. Many, many years. And I will never eat Taco Bell. Whenever we Bell want tacos, again. we just make our own. It's, it's safer. Yeah, at least we know it's real meat in there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Blaine says, was it a picture of Amber? Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Poor Amber. Oh, uh, Scott's not even here to help with that. And I said help. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, good grief. So the correct answer on this is... B, false. There were two actresses. Mmm. Well, 254 shows... What did I say? Abner, Abner. I don't know. I uh, said Abner. Abner wasn't one of them. Blaine says, Virginia, I've been thinking about y'all prayers. Next question. Speaking of which. Well, he's, um, he's saying Abner, Abner, because yeah. that's what well, she Well, he's always... jumping the gun here. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. look. Uh-huh. What's the name of Gladys's husband? Uh-huh. A, Alvin. B, Murray. C, Arthur, or D, Abner. William says, wasn't he the husband? Well, wasn't he? Was he? Yep. This Looks like everybody else knows. <laughs> was a given one. Given one. I was tempted to put little Abner. Little Abner. Uh. Blaine says, just a lucky guess. <laughs> William says, I'm sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. It's all right. Well, the correct answer, obviously, is... D, Abner. Yeah, she was always calling him. Abner, you got to come and look. Look, look at what uh, is happening over there. <laughs> Next question. Who portrayed Darren first? This is a thinker. Dick Sargent or Dick York? A, Dick Sargent, or B, Dick York? Blaine says, I had the answers last week. I see who has them this week. William says, he was funny. He always knew she was nuts. Yep. <laughs> Spaceman, hey. Hey, Spaceman, I welcome. I thought it was Archie. Oh, goodness sake. That's what I got to send to uh, Oh, man. Yeah. It was obviously at some Taco Bell. Don't know where. <laughs> Jeff says, well, I have drew the whole campground on my site. Got a <laughs> Teresa fire going. Oh, oh my. no. Oh, goodness. We better watch it. The fire department may come out there. Well, the picture of that wood stack that I saw the other day. You better not be burning the whole stack the there. Bread showed. <laughs> no wonder you got that fire going. Jimmy says, Spaceman and your wife doing okay? And uh, Blaine saying, hey, Jeff. Spaceman says, hey, y'all. Hope you've had a good day. Yes, yeah. we have. How about you? Uh, Spaceman said, oh, he oh, retracted retract. something. Yeah, Blaine, I sent it to you on Messenger. The okay, Taco Bell. So, the, so answer. the answer to this one is... B, Dick York. Yeah. It's interesting how both actors that they had to play Darren, their first name was Dick or Richard. Yeah. So, next question. True or false? Ma Maureen McCormick, who was in the Brady Bunch, and Danny Bonaducci and Partridge Family both appeared on this show. A, true, or B, false. Blaine says, amazing how one letter makes a difference. Just saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Spaceman says, Jimmy, she's still having abdominal pains. Oh, uh, you'd think man. the doctors find something with the CT scans she's had done. Oh, my. Could it be uh, some sort of uh, 
food related uh, thing, maybe? Spaceman says she has no gallbladder. Um, Jeff says firewood is getting short now. I guess I will have to order more now. Yeah, uh, yeah. And Jeff, I sent you the picture I sent to Blaine just for reference sake. Jimmy says Spaceman will be praying. Yeah. Yes, prayers for for you, Spaceman, for your wife. Yeah, well, uh, she's already she's been on my yeah. prayer thing since first hearing about that. So, okay, a lot of people. so the answer. So the answer to this one is a true. And they were actually both in two episodes each. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. I wonder what season and all that. Yeah, I can't. I just have to look that back up. Okay, Jeff got the, got the picture. Okay. <laughs> uh, Blaine says, Jeff, you need more wood, G. Next question, G. G. Which actor, real life father of an actor from the Partridge family, guest starred as Rance Butler? Oh, this is one of the worst nightmares. A, Jack Cassidy. B, Danny Thomas. C, Jack Jones. Or D, Milton Berle. Spaceman says our health care around here is a joke. The same guy that ruined Florida hospitals is the one ruining ours now. Oh, Alan Levine. Man. Oh, wow. Good grief. Oh. This one's going to be an easy question. Hey, Pam. Hey, it's Pee Hey, Pam. Yeah, uh, Spaceman, is, I know it's um, kind of frustrating with with that when you know that there's a problem, but they, they're not saying what it is. They can't figure it out. That's that's just... And then she's still in pain. That, that makes yeah. it really, really frustrating and hard, hard on everyone. Especially when you already have the gallbladder out and it's... Style. Yeah, yeah. Test after test, and they still don't know. William Smith is not sure on this one. So the answer to this one is... A, Jack Cassidy. David Cassidy's father. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Next question. Which actor, known mostly for playing a doctor in another TV series, guest starred as the Warlock Apothecary? A. James Brolin. B. Jack Klugman. C. Bernie Coppell. Or D. Robert Young. Pam says, hello, Miss Virginia. Been keeping you in prayer. This one's a thinker. Yeah, I know. Because there's actually three, three actors on here that have played doctors in it. But mo known mostly for playing a doctor in our other TV series. Hey, John Esper, welcome. Hey, John. Good evening to everybody in chat from Columbus, Ohio. Hopefully you got a lot of stuff at Bucky's. I saw he posted on, he was at Bucky's. Spaceman says it concerns her because her our two neighbors who used to live across the street both dealt with cancers that were hidden and was advanced Ooh. when finally was discovered. Ooh. Oh, man. Wow. That would be, that's not good. Yeah, John Esper was supposed to get his first Social Security check today. Oh, wow. Uh, Pam says, hey to John Esper. Hope you are enjoying retirement. And I don't understand David Perkins' answer. That, that, w? I, yeah, it doesn't go that far down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he might have wanted uh, to hit another What letter is letter? next to the W on the... Uh, oh, it could be A. John says, I'm loaded up on stuff. I was going to come down to Pigeon Forge until I saw the campers and mobile homes on the road. I said, the heck with it. Plus the hotels jacked up the price. 
is thirty dollars from two days ago. Oh my! Jeez. Did you call them? Sometimes, if you call the hotel directly, maybe yeah, they'll spring break week. They're not gonna. They're, yeah, they're, I was gonna say maybe they'll out. adjust it. John Esper says, "I did. I got my first Social Security check today. Yeah. Oh wow!" Yeah. Virginia says, "At first, they told my friend there was nothing wrong with her. After tests, she left hospital in a body bag." Ugh. Oh. Spaceman says, "Spring break in Pigeon Forge." Yep. Mm. Virginia says, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. That's all right. We understand. It's okay. Okay. All right. So the answer is C, Bernie Coppell. Yeah, that's why we, from the love boat. From the love boat? Yeah. Okay. That's why William said, I'm wrong again. It's C. <laughs> He corrected him. John says, I did. I called them when I was in Richmond, Kentucky, and they told me $100 for tonight. <sighs> wow. What's Wait what's for, it normally? I, I think he meant 30, it was originally 30 or 70 or I don't know. No, it went, they jacked up the price by $30. 30 okay, so it, was, it would have been 70 ago. Yeah. Next question. Which actor best known for his role as a superhero from another TV show played Kermit? A. Adam West, B. Dean Cain, C. George Reeves, or D. Lee Majors. Blaine says, "Wow, Virginia, and we trust these people with our health issues." Yeah. Blaine says, "C." Yeah, all over it answers. I know they they advertise a lot of, around here with this virtual imaging or something. Yeah. And they do a, like a full body scan thing or yep. whatever. And then like if they find something, they'll send it, send you the results or whatever. And then they, then you take something to your regular pro provider, your regular doctor, and then they look into it further. It was 75. Oh, 75. Oh. Okay. And Blaine is now belt loop. Oh, he's doing a A B C D. Yeah. Blaine says, No, you didn't, Virginia. It's true. I know people who that has happened with. Yeah. So the answer to this one is A, Adam West. Batman. No. Blaine says, did I win? No, Gary. I mean, Blaine. <laughs> Next question. Which Brady Bunch actress, if you remember, mm -hmm. played young Endora in the episode Trick or Treat? A, Susan Olsen. B, Florence Henderson. C, Maureen McCormick. Or D, Eve Plum. You should know this answer from previous question. Just a hint. Yeah, well, it depends on if there was more than one. Spaceman says, I don't recall Adam or Bernie being on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, out of 254 episodes, episodes yeah. yeah, it's kind of hard to... I remembered seeing that episode with uh, Bernie Coppell being the uh, wizard apothecary. Let's see, where where did I say that we found Bewitched to watch? Uh, oh, was, was it free? Was it freebie? No. No, I don't think it was free. Uh, was it Pluto? I don't know. No. Oh, no, it was freebie. It was freebie. Yeah, it was, it was freebie. On freebie. Yeah. John says gas was three oh nine a gallon at Bucky's in Richmond, Kentucky. It's three thirty nine a gallon here in Ohio. Oh, that's a big difference there. Yeah. David says I'm totally lost. 
<laughs> and uh, Pam says, everyone's going with C, so that's what I'm going with. Spaceman says, I wasn't a huge fan of the show. All right, well, the answer is... John Esper says C. Teresa says, push the wrong key, it's C. <laughs> William says, 200, or 200, 282 in Monroe, Louisiana. Oof, that's high. Jimmy Spencer says, night, y'all. Good, Good night, night, Jimmy. Good night, Jimmy. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's early morning, as usual. C, Maureen McCormick. As mentioned earlier. Everybody's saying good night to Jimmy. Next question. Which Academy Award nominated actress guest starred as Nurse Kelton in the episode in which Tabitha was born? A, Betty Davis. B, Eve Arden. C, Joan Crawford. Or D, Grace Kelly. Yeah, I think our gas here is like, uh, what, like 335 or something for average? Yeah. It's... They bumped it up because they do their summer blend. Stupid <laughs> summer blend. It's a crock. It is. Uh, Kroger is 332. David's like a Betty Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> She's got Betty Davis eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> William says, I don't know. A. Hey. I know that would have been just a guess for me. Virginia's guessing B. So the answer to this is... B. Eve Arden. Yep. Good guess, Virginia. Yep. Next question. Which Academy Award winning actor guest starred as Rodney in a 1966 episode? Is early on. Oh my. A. Jack Nicholson. B. Tom Hanks. C. Richard Dreyfus. Or D. Peter O'Toole. That's oh. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's what started in '64. I think it was. The show itself. Yeah, the series. I don't know. You probably, you don't have that as a... No, that's not a question. Oh, William says wild eyes. Yeah, 64. Yep, that's what I thought. I did remember reading that. I'm actually surprised that it lasted that long. Yeah. I mean, it, I guess it was just something different at that yeah. time. So the answer to this is... C. Richard Dreyfus. Next question. Which famous American baseball player guest starred as himself in the episode Twitch or Treat? A. Yogi Berra. B. Don Drysdale. C, Willie Mays, or D, Hank Aaron. Same episode that Maureen McCormick was in. Oh. And played a young Endora. Oh, wow. An earlier question. Got some B's, we got some C's, we got a D. At least we don't have an A B C D. <laughs> Give them another short bit. If there's any other answer.
Masters. Virginia says, I actually remember the show, but not the player. Oh. Oh. Okay, so. So the answer is. C, Willie Mays. Yep. Next question. Which Emmy? Eh, try this again. Which Emmy award-winning actress guest starred as Aunt Jenny in the episode "Samantha Goes South for a Spell"? A. Isabel Sanford. B. Diane Di Carroll. That's a real name, though. C. Marla Gibbs or D. Cicely Tyson. Yeah, this is a one of those guessers again. <laughs> or if you know the the show, then you I say remember, everybody's got an A. Yeah, I remember the episode, and literally Samantha goes south for a spell. Ah. Oh. William says, "Why all these questions? I don't know answers to." <laughs> What does Spaceman Dilly say? Spaceman says, has anyone heard if the cargo ship that hit the bridge was loaded or not? Some of these, some of those containers had to fall in water. Should I hire a diving team? Yeah. Well, no, the containers did not fall into the water. And it was, it was loaded. Well, it was loaded, but they were empty containers is what they said. They were empty? They were but, empty. Wait a second. This morning I read they said they had hazardous materials on them. So once I don't know they, what, it various stories. I've heard that I it was know. empty. What has everybody else heard? William says I don't think the ship was affected. No. Because the the front of the only part of the ship that was affected was the very front where part of the bridge fell. I mean, I, I thought I heard then somebody said that there were a few that went in the water. Oh, I didn't hear that. But then I don't know. I mean, the media is getting all over the place. All over, yeah. William says, I don't think the ship was affected. Okay, I read that already. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they did have a press conference earlier, but yeah. I was kind of in and out of the room. So yeah, well, that's know. good. They said they got the found the uh, pickup truck. That yeah, they they located two people. Hey, um, James Kennedy's welcome. Uh, Jeff says, uh, yes, yes, they said two containers fell in this evening news. Oh. Yeah, that's I what I thought I heard too, I Jeff. And uh, then they said that it had, some of the containers had hazardous materials and that the water is not going to be affected. And So if, if a couple fell in the water, then yeah, the water is going to be affected. But then, I don't know. Hey, Snakey Holler family, welcome. Blaine says, Dudley, be interesting to see if this... Uh, messes supply issues up even more yeah they said that it would probably it's going to affect uh what is it eight thousand employees well they said that uh, um, around farm that equipment won't be going in and out and cars but they said something about a p gas pipeline in the area too being affected which i don't know why jeff says front of boat sitting on bottom of river also uh, Gary says, I thought I heard a few had cooking oil in them. Oh, that's the first I've heard of that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. If I guess it's uh, flammable. The story, too. Yeah, the stories come from different parts of the country. Spaceman says, so. true, uh, Ray, uh, Rayleigh, not like it's not already jacked up. Yeah. yeah. Blaine says, exactly. Anything to jack prices up. Yeah. So the answer to this one is... A, Isabel Sanford. William says millions of dollars because people can't get to work. Yep. Yeah. They have to go a different way. 
there are two other bridges to the north, but they said those bridges have tunnels and tanker trucks can't go through them because oh. they've got tunnels. Oh, wow. So they have to go the long way around. Gary says, why did the ship steer to the right? They, well, it was having power issues. Power went out twice on it, and and they couldn't control it for some reason. Also, did anyone else hear what I heard I or read that there was something about contaminated fuel? Yes, I heard that was running or something. And I like I heard that on the news this morning on my way into the office. They said that if they probably got contaminated fuel at the port that they probably sold it to them cheap because just to get so they can load up on fuel to get out of there and they said the contaminated fuel will mess up the engine and cause these type of problems oh blaine says a man in dc said he's driven over that bridge by train and vehicle yeah we know we took a train oh yeah Uh we know who you're talking Uh about we know we know yeah the train that doesn't have a train track he lost his train of thought on that one. Yeah, we saw. <laughs> okay, the uh, uh, next question. Which actress known mostly for playing a TV supervillain guest starred as Ophelia in the episode The Eight-Year Itch Witch? A, Ann Baxter. B, Julie Newmar. C, Lee Merriweather. Or D, Eartha Kitt. Blaine says, must be an underground train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with his imaginary friend. <laughs> Spaceman says, maybe he was in a tran- train zam. Or trans zam. Trans. Train zam. <laughs> uh, good grief. I just, when I saw that video of that bridge and the, you know, after it hit, it was just like watching some kind of model down. bridge, you know, that yeah, it some came down too fast. 10 year old built and, you know, it just fell down just like all together all at once. It wasn't well, like something it, was still sticking up. They said it was 50 years, but why they didn't put bumpers around the support columns like most other bridges have. Gary says, I went across the remaining Skyway Bridge one month after the sister bridge was hit by a ship. Oh, yeah. You know, we lived (laughs) down that way. I remember that. Yeah, uh, I remember that day. Skyway Bridge. um, That was 1980. 1980 was the summit venture that hit it. It was pouring rain, thunderstorm, and somebody I knew was actually driving, actually drove across the Skyway, headed to Sarasota, and then it Mm -hmm. it happened after he got to Sarasota. Yeah. Blaine says, all the technology nowadays, you would think something would have stopped. Yeah. I know these these bridges, I I think they're vulnerable. Yeah. They really are. And they mentioned that on the, stupidly enough, they mentioned that on the news so parties can uh, start targeting bridges. It's like, really? Yeah. Hey, Scott, welcome. Scott, how's it going? James says, I have been across bridge in semi plenty times. Oh, wow. Okay, so the answer. The answer is. B, Julie Newmar. Gary says, thank God the police stopped the traffic. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Blaine says, how many bridges do you think got inspected after that? They're probably inspecting them all now. Yeah. Next question. What does Endora say she will call the Stevens baby no matter what they name her? A, Stephanie. B, Abigail. C, Tabitha. Or D, Samantha. Look at what William Smith said. What? Oh, hello, Amber's, Amber's husband. husband. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> Good one, William. 
face man says hi james and i bet you were eating some of cindy's cherry pie while you were driving james says hi scott and amber and boys and if anybody has not seen this past sunday's live from from kicking a country you need to watch it for the greatest laugh you can imagine it was it was a great show it was a great show <laughs> Jeff can <laughs> attest to that one. He said he couldn't even laugh so hard. I'm not going to say what he said, but <laughs> it was epic. <laughs> uh, still answers coming in, so I'll let it go a second here. <sighs> William says, can't imagine leaving the door open. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, like, what? So the answer to this is... C, Tabitha. Yeah, poor Roxanne. Hopefully <laughs> see it. Poor eyesight. You just can't unsee stuff uh, no. like that. No. <laughs> Uh, next question. When Serena comes to visit, what does she offer to give the baby? A, a centaur or, uni or a unicorn. B, an amusement park. C, a pet elephant or giraffe. Or D, a dolphin or a whale. William Smith says, uh, room, room service, service, anyone? <laughs> oh, boy. Orange Cone, Orange Cone Vlog, welcome. Hey. He's been on, or he or she has been on before. Scott says, that's a welcome party you don't want to see. <laughs> Blaine says, 17 days till we cruise with Scott, Amber, and boys. I will keep a diary. Might have several shorts, but here's what I know. I'm making sure Amber isn't on throne when I visit their cabin. <laughs> it's 17 days, but per Amber, or per Scott, for Amber, it's 12 days. Blaine says, comedy from the carnival sunshine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh. Uh, Orange Cone says, 144 days to Ooh. Alaska. Oh, that sounds neat. That does sound neat. I don't know if people are still answering or not. Blaine says, I just hope they make the ship. <laughs> yeah, they probably probably will have to leave like two days before yeah. for every bathroom stop. Blaine says, oh, he said oh that. yeah, I read that. <laughs> so I, I guess no one else is answering, so we can. Uh, Scott says, Blaine, there's no way of telling when she'll be on the throne, LOL. Great. <laughs> so the answer is... A, a centaur or a unicorn. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good grief. Next question. What does Sam suggest Serena buy for Tabitha instead? A, a teddy bear. B, a rattle. C, a blanket. Or D, a mobile. Orange Cone says 612 days till the cruise of the century, the rock and roll tribute cruise Ooh. benefiting HH4C. Helping hands for cruising. Oh, okay. Wow. Rock and roll cruise. Oh. Tribute cruise. Wow, wow, that sounds really neat. That does sound neat. 612 days. Oof. That's a long time. That is a long time. So now I know where our orange cone blog is from through. Mm-hmm.
Orange Cone uh, vlog says uh, Who tribute and Pink Floyd tribute. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's going to be awesome. Oh, that would be nice. That's to good see. music. Yeah. Scott says, Hey, Miss Virginia. Hope you're doing oh, good. Uh, William says, Guess what month and year that is? I, um, I, I don't know. Oh, 612 days from now. Uh, Blaine says, Scott, I'll text you Friday, but Friday at midnight. Y'all can check in. Always two weeks till sail away. Uh, that will let you know when to be at terminal. <laughs> 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 Don't oversleep. Orange Cone says, two shows on ship, one show in Private Island. Oh, Ooh, wow. wow. Oh, that'll be amazing. That's a Saturday, too, that I'm going, I'm going to definitely go to. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, tri speaking of tribute concerts, there's a tribute concert in our area that's a Kansas and Sticks tribute concert that this weekend that I'm going to. I'm looking so forward to that. Gonna... Okay, so... So the answer to this one is... B, a rattle. Next question. Nurse Kelton doesn't like her patients having lots of flowers in their rooms. Why? A, their smell is too strong. B, they take up too much room. C, they die too quickly. Or D, they take up all the oxygen. Uh, William says, I'd say June of 27. Orange Cone says, November 29th to December 6, 2025. Norwegian. Norwegian Joy, Port Canaveral. Oh, it's out of Port Canaveral. Ah. Gee. Wow. Huh. Blaine says, Ross sounds like a joy. Okay, we only have a couple of answers so far, so I'm going to wait a little bit here. Uh, Orange Cone says, uh, Blaine, it sure will be. That's, yeah, that's several days. That's or... the Norwegian joy. Oh, wow, that's pretty... Pretty it's a big ship. Big there. ship. Wow. That's gonna be awesome. Three thousand seven hundred seventy six gas capacity. Wow. Jeez. Blaine says Baltimore cruise port is possibly moving all operations to Norfolk for a bit. Yes, I saw that. Carnival's moving theirs out, out of... Until uh, it's back up. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they would come uh, out under that bridge. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things that have to be shifted around. It's just something else. When something like that happens, it just messes a lot of operation up. Yes, Orange Cone Vlog, he said... Blaine, dang autocorrect. Yeah. <laughs> I hate autocorrect. I know. I sent out an email earlier today to somebody and it, it changed one word to another word. It's like, I didn't see that. <laughs> dang it. <laughs> uh, can't cruise unless, unless I'm setting it. Oh, cruise control. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good one, William. Orange Cone says this will be the largest group cruise in uh, HH4C history. 200 rooms blocked. <sighs> currently 150 available. Wow. Ocean, ver Ugh, I can't Ocean View Room sold out. Wow. So well, you, yeah. They go, they go Blaine first. Says, can you imagine the economic impact of this? Yes. Yeah. All right. So the answer to this one is... D, they take up all the oxygen. <laughs> Not all of it, lady. Well, that's what she said. I know. Next question. After Nurse Kelton takes all the flowers out of the room, who comes and puts them all back again? A, Darren. B, Endora. C, Serena. Or D, Sam.
Orange Cone says, Blaine, it will be affected for years to come. Yeah, because yes. it's going to take a long time to rebuild that bridge. Well, they said the last, when they built that bridge, it took five years. Yeah. We got B's and D's. Oh, we got a split between Jackson, Teresa, and oh. Dennis. It's a split house. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> David says a man in Washington, D.C. can do it in the year. Build a fridge back. <laughs> you build a fridge back. Instead of build a bridge back. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. He wants to foot the whole bill, too, right? Yes. What happened to liability with the... the the ship company or whatever. Yeah. They well, need to do it. When the Sunshine Skyway got hit, the the company that this owned the Sun Adventure, they had to they had major fines and had to pay for a good portion of it. Blaine says he doesn't remember there's an issue in Baltimore. He doesn't remember anything two seconds ago. How is he gonna remember that? So the correct answer is C Serena. Well, Dennis and Teresa were both wrong, so. David says, Mr. Washington man trying to buy votes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Orange Cone says, I am in logistics. Oh. And our partner companies are begging us for trucks to come move containers off the docks at Baltimore and move them to oh, other wow. ports. They estimate they will need 1,000 trucks a day. Whoa. Oh, man. Wow. Jeez, that's a lot. Oh, wow. Virginia says, I agree, Connie. Next question. In which episode did Samantha find out Tabitha was a witch? A, nobody's perfect. B, twitch or treat. C, the moment of truth. Or D, witches and warlocks are my favorite things. Teresa says, LOL, you can't always be right. Nope. Yeah. Orange Cone says, for six months minimum. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Uh, Blaine says, we have plenty of trucks here in Savannah. I'm sure it's all hands on deck. Yeah. Yeah, Savannah's been mentioned, too. Yeah. Savannah's uh, a big port. Gary says, are we talking about the guy that said he would bridge us all together? <laughs> yeah. William says, I'm sure them docks are as full, if not more, than they were in 92. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how many of those... Shipping containers were on that. A lot. Ship. A lot. I can't even. I mean, it just. I can't remember how long they said that thing was. It's very long. Uh, the length of two and a half football fields. Wow. That I remember them saying yesterday. Okay, so the answer is. So the answer to this one is. A, nobody's perfect. Next question. How many sets of twins played Tabitha? Oh. It was more than one kid. Played Tabitha. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. A, two. B, three. C, four. Or D, five. Scott says, sounds like if you have CDLs, there's plenty of work for you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Orange Cone says, Blaine, yes. But container work, a.k.a. Uh, Dre, Dreyage Freight, has been in a steep decline for 15 years. Many drivers and companies have stopped doing it because of the lack of proper pay. Yeah. Hmm. You got B, you got A, you got A, you got B. Yeah, I didn't realize there were... Twins playing in there, but I guess that happened a lot then too. How many sets of twins? Though? Yeah, but that's interesting. Well, you have to think about it. They obviously they use twins. Well, then as, as they age, as they age, yeah. yeah. William says, "I want to say it's union up there, so it may be a headache." Ugh. Blaine says, "I know Ross. Pay is uh, worth it. Isn't worth it. Spent six hours waiting to get your container for two hours of driving." Yeah, I know. That's 
that's what I've heard too. Orange Cone says these companies have moved to railroad dry dryage. I I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pays better. Yeah, I don't I don't know the word. I've heard the word, but I've I've heard it, the word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So the answer to this is B three three sets wow, of twins. Three sets. Is that throughout the whole? Yeah. Met all those years. Yes. Oh, okay. Next question: In which season did Tabitha start school? Oh. A five, B seven, C eight, or D six? Yes, there were a lot of seasons. Looking up that word. Um. Orange Cones has been in logistics for 30 years. Wow. Started as a driver. Now I am a VP. Oh, wow. wow. Impressive. That is impressive. William says it would have to fall under a FEMA act. So drivers are being paid for sitting. Yeah. Probably would. Yeah, they it would have to be. Okay, so moving. No, we're on waiting oh, for oh, answers. That's right. Oh, nobody's. Um, Scott says driving home from church and have one stop to make. Can anyone guess what that stop works to be? Uh, Dollar General for popsicles. Uh huh. Are you guys out already? <laughs> Scott can go through a package a day just for him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Didn't you hear what he had to do to keep his popsicles cold at the yeah at, at the hotel <laughs> motel or hotel he stayed at at the owner using a trash can. With ice? Orange uh, cone says foster stop. <laughs> William says ice for sickles. Yeah, Virginia says sickles. couldn't be popsicles? Question <laughs> mark. Scott says yes, sir. Popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> we know you too well, Scott. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, boy. Getting back to this question, which we're getting close to the end. And we got. Then after this, I got to show the pictures again of the the good stuff that that Virginia sent or through. And then we do the wheel. We got A's. We got B's. I don't even know what the answer is. Oh. So the answer to this one is C eight. Wow. Eight C eight was C I think there was like nine or ten seasons or eleven seasons actually. Orange cone says we are going to possibly have beer sickles on the R and R tribute cruise. I have a possible sponsor. Hmm. Ah, wow. Uh, not that I'm into that, but William says second guess was Amber had to go. <laughs> <laughs> Or it could be both. <laughs> I don't know if they have public restrooms. Yeah, I don't know. General. Next question. Tabitha's weekend. What did Tabitha turn herself into? A, a stamp. B, a plate. C, a cup. Or D, a cookie. And we got three more questions. And then I can show the... Mm -hmm. The last one's going to be the easy one. I wonder if it would be better to turn the picture. Can you turn it or does it matter? Um, yeah, that would show, show up better, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay. Got a whole bunch of answers here. So the answer to this is... D. Cookie. <laughs> Let's put it this oh, way. Easy. If you ever seen the show, you'll know that even one episode, even the first episode, it's that easy. You would know the answer. Next question. In the safe and sane Halloween, what was Tabitha's Halloween costume? A butterfly. B wood wood witch. C tiger or D fairy. 
Teresa was saying Cookie Monster. I know. William says match game. Picture it. Not that easy. I don't have pictures. Other than back, back, uh, background stuff. So. Jeff says, "Okay, crowd is gone. Lol, I can chat." Ah, <laughs> oh, did your fire go out? Is that why everyone left? Yeah, the fire was dimming down, so they all vacated. <laughs> like, okay, party's over. You see a D, D question mark. mark. The answer to this one is C. Tiger. And nobody got it right. DCAB. <laughs> A backwards blade. Uh huh. Next question. What was the name of Darren and Samantha's son? Did you know that there was a son? Well, you told me about the other day, but yeah. I didn't realize that. A, Adam. B, Anthony. C, Larry. Or D, Todd. Yeah, no one did get that one. Let's see if Jeff we get says, this one. No, fire's still going strong. Oh, okay. There you go. You probably thought, oh, it's past my bedtime. Jeff says, I ain't gonna freeze just because they left. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> Jeff's like, A question mark? Well, give you a hint, Jeff. Look at what everybody else's answers is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the answer to this one is A, Adam. William says, Wood is uh, leaning. He just has to push. Yeah, has to push it back. McDee's. <laughs> Next question. Easy question. What did Samantha do to perform magic? A. Crossed her arms and nodded her head. B. Waved a magic wand. C. Pointed her finger. Or D. Twitched her nose. Like I said. The last one's an here's easy a, one. Yeah, here's that easy question. I think, William, you were asking. Yeah, if you don't get it, this right, William, then you never watch that. William says, I watched today. Then you should know this answer. Just saying. <laughs> I had to get one easy. One real easy. Jeff, D, exclamation. Jeff's point. like, D. Uh... Jeff says, I do know this answer. <laughs> William says, I watched Jeff's live today. Ah. Uh, catching up. All right. So the answer, of course, is... William says, who crossed arms and nodded head? D, twitched her nose. And that's the last Jeff one. says, thank you, William. All right. Okay, you're going to, first off, you're going to show the pictures again. Yes. Of uh, what Virginia baked today. Yes, I'm going to go over here, make sure I have this all set before I do this. So, before I go any more, I'm going to reshow the pictures of what Virginia baked. That's a Pennsylvania Dutch pie. Surprise cake. Surprise cake. And then I guess this has the surprise cake. And. And the, the bread. Two loaves, two of, loaves bread. of bread. She baked. Orange Cone says, okay, so come on over Friday night at 7 p.m. Central to my live featuring. How we cruise on Creator's Corner. All right. Uh, Thanks for letting us know. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Oh, Virginia says not showing up well. Oh, it didn't. Oh. It didn't show up. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. How can you do it? Make make it look. Let me think here. Uh, 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe you got to get closer to the... Orange Cone says also special comedic guest Sean from the DUCs and HH4C. Okay. okay. Well, we... we, uh, we William uh, says homemade Amish bread is good too. We uh, subscribe to your channel, Orange Cone, so we got you now. All right. There's the first one. Does that look a little bit better now, Virginia? David says, I will check it out. Or check out the channel. And then the second one is... I think it looks better. It looks from here, it looks like it's showing up. Jeff says, hang on, I sent the second one again because it had messed up on my uh, oh. ANF. Uh, William says, cool whip on top. Orange Cone says, I have a ton of recipes for camping. Teresa says, that looks great. It makes me hungry. It yeah. does look good. Virginia says, that's better. Okay. Jeff says, Fred, show the one I just sent. Oh, he sent another one. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I don't see it yet. Where'd you send it to, Jeff? Oh, well, maybe it's just still coming through. It has to go over the mountain first. Now <laughs> oh, I can get this thing. Oh. Um, well, while we're waiting, you can spin the wheel. Well, I gotta get the wheel back up. So while we're while I'm waiting on just picture which hasn't come yet. <laughs> William says a gust of wind caught it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So I'll spin the wheel for us see what we have for next week. Why am I spinning? I don't know. Let's try that again. I'm trying to click on there. Oh. <laughs> The Waltons. The Waltons. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. Orange Cone says, I have a recipe for strawberry shortcakes on the campfire and Saturday night onions. Tastes like French onion soup. Jeff says, I sent it back to Virginia by accident. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so next week's <laughs> trivia is the Waltons. That's going to be a fun Jeff one. Jeff says, you should get it now. Okay, you got it. Yep. And there's right. a better picture of the bread. And the cake. So, yeah, the other one Thanks, had a bunch Jeff. of white background, so I don't know what happened there. Yeah. yeah. So, next week, it will be the Waltons. I'm going to have fun. Yeah. That one. William so says, much. that's a good one, Lorna. Watch all, Lorna watches it all the time. I yeah, think, that's one of I my think, favorites, has, too. Yeah, we've, I think we've watched this series, like, Two or three times. Yeah, all the way through. All of the way Night through. Night John Boy, LOL. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. All right. That should be a good one. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on there watching the Friday evening, I think. Jeff says y'all are welcome. Uh, what time uh, he's, did he say? Uh, 7 Central, I think. Uh, oh, Central. Yeah. Okay. At 7 Central, that's that should be fine. Yeah, 7 Central. Okay, we should be back by then. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, At 5 o'clock. Yeah, to see that one of Yeah, we're, we have a... For um, Good Friday. Okay. Service. Yeah, we have a Good Friday service on Friday at 5, so... Uh, and we're Eastern time, so we should be back because they got a 7 o'clock service. As well, so we're going to the five o'clock service. Teresa says, "Night, Mary Ellen." <laughs> good night, Elizabeth. Hey, I'm, I'm, William I'm says, "Good night, holler at me at four a.m." <sighs> uh, Jeff says, "You fishing tonight, Fred?" Yeah, I guess I'll fish a little bit. I don't know if, if Blaine's still on. Maybe she can join us. If Pam's still on, she can join us too. I don't know if if either of them are on here still. 
Uh, I don't see Blaine. I don't see Virginia Pam. says good night, everyone. Thanks, Fred and Connie. Oh, you're welcome. All right, good night, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and uh, we hope you have a, a good rest of the week. Have a good and, Easter. Uh, thanks, Virginia, for making us hungry and drooling yeah. over here. Oh, my gosh. Baked goods. <laughs> yes. And uh, have everyone have a, a good good Friday, Friday, and a good Easter on Sunday. And yes, happy Easter, and uh, hope you all have a good weekend. Check out Orange Cone vlog as well, and and he's his live if you can on Friday evening. And uh, we'll, we'll catch everybody for our next one next week, the Waltons. So. Good night, little Tootsie. Good night. Orange Cone says, I live stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Central. Last Friday of the month, we feature creators in odd-numbered months hmm. and talk tech on even-numbered months. Oh, that's interesting. You have a variety. It's interesting you, you talk okay. tech consider num and tech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should fit in well. Oh, yes. So, All right, good night, everybody. So, good night, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a good week. Rest of the week. Yes.